James, I'm so furious! What are you furious about? Because it's taken me so long to watch Fast and Furious. Sorry. The Fast and The Furious. 2001. Yeah. Never seen it before. I actually went to see this in theaters. It was very popular. Yes, it was. Yeah. Yeah, I understand the seventh one. The seventh one yeah. is coming out next summer. Correct. See, so that's how popular it is. Crazy! See? So I'm late to this. I'm furious. I'm not very fast. I mm -hmm. guess I'm lazy and furious. Can you can you be lazy and furious? Oh yeah. I'm you holler from the couch. I can do that. <clears throat> Bring me a beer. I don't want to get off the couch. Is that is that? Be more fury in that. Yeah. I'll work on it. I'll work yeah. on it. Okay. 2001's The Fast and the Furious, starring Vin Diesel and Paul Walker, and it is a. Uh, if you're not familiar with it. Uh, Paul Walker is an undercover cop sent in to uh, investigate uh, illegal road racing and if they have any connection to uh, uh, tractor trailers that are being hijacked. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much it. That's it. And they made a whole movie out of it. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. And I have to say, it is a, it is a very good summertime popcorn flick. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's just uh, full of excitement. Yeah. Um, racing. Lots of, if you're into that sort of thing, this is going to be your, your cup of tea. I'm going to go with that, yes. Yes, yes. Uh, so we've got Dom, who's the character played by Vin Diesel. And he's a leader of this, uh, this entourage street racing scene. That's right, bro. Oh, <laughs> you know, I think this film ripped off 200 miles per hour by the asylum. I would say so. I'm pretty sure 200 miles per hour yeah. uh, was the big hit, but then overshadowed by... The Fast and the Furious. The, the Fast and the Furious, kind of in the shadow, trying to find a life of its own, and somehow it took off like a rocket. Um, so there you have it. It's, a, it's, a, it's got cars in it. Mm -hmm. It's got lovely ladies. It's got fighting. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got gang violence. Yeah. Um, All that. Yeah. It's exciting. You should make a list of what it doesn't have, because it has a little bit of everything. It, do, it, it does not have any random act of nudity. Correct. No, it's a PG-13 movie. It's got some very lovely ladies, and they're dressed very lovely, but they are dressed. Uh, so that's, that's very good. Um, I think, if I may just jump to this real quick, the weakest link in this movie okay. is Paul Walker. Yeah, I don't agree with that. Yeah, Vin Diesel, who is this, he, even when he does not-so-good films, he, uh, he's a personality. He, he, uh, he takes up the screen... It's a Vin Diesel movie. Mm -hmm. It is, and Pitch Black came out before this. It did. Uh, and I, I enjoyed him in that Love movie. Pitch Black. I'm pretty sure Pitch Black got more fans because this movie. I think you're probably right, because they were pretty close to each other. Mm -hmm. And I said, oh, I like this Vin Diesel guy. This movie's just blown up. It's making tons of money. Let's see what else he's been in. What? What is this movie? Pitch Black. And yeah. It's had its own sequels as well. That's true. Yeah, Paul Walker does, did not excite me. He did not... I wasn't convinced for two seconds. Was he in any movies before this, or is this his? I had to look him out? up on IMDb. Apparently, he was like a, a child actor, did a lot of Nickelodeon, Disney kind of things. There, uh, he wasn't a problem right there. Blue Crush, a oh, surfing yes. movie mm -hmm. or a diving movie it has water. Yeah, I thought it was a flavor of soft drink, but I was wrong. No, that's uh, but I don't know what else he's. In. He keeps doing these Fast and Furious movies, which I'm sure he's grateful for. But I don't know if he's actually ever branched out to do anything else, seriously. Wow, when you've made seven, you're probably making pretty good money. Oh, why not? I'll do... And as I understand it... Well, it wasn't in the third one, I believe. Correct. As I understand it, the third one, Tokyo Drift, mm -hmm. neither... Well, I think Vin Diesel does a small cameo in it at the end. I've heard. Yeah. I haven't seen it yet. I, I've seen it. It's been, it's been a while. I haven't seen that one quite as much as this right. first one. But I understand Paul Walker is not in that one at all. But that's well, okay. Right. It's it's a it's a minor thing. I can tell he was hired. He, mm -hmm. uh, I guess he's a handsome young man. Um, but I, when he was trying to convey it as being a cop, I was like, mm. yeah. Whereas I could believe Vin Diesel as this you know non no nonsense oh, yeah. kick assery street racer. I could believe that. Yeah, yeah. Paul Walker does this little. I'm gonna go to this diner. This place, or a tuna fish sandwich, and Vin Diesel's sister is going to serve it to me, and then I'm going to get a fight. Mm hmm. I believe bro. that. But I don't want to dwell on that. Yeah, <laughs> bro. No. I don't want to dwell on that because overall I enjoyed it very much. My favorite scene, James, was the big hijack at the uh, towards the end. 
when um, the guy gets hung up on the side of the tractor trailer mm -hmm. and they gotta oh that was very exciting you like that mm -hmm. uh, my favorite scene would have to be when he breaks out the Dodge oh yes when they race zoom I'm like finally yeah a little American made car Detroit Steel yeah that thing was impressive. It. it was. When they do the thing towards the train tracks. And then they wreck it. I hope you, everybody's oh, seen this. But. Yeah, it brought a tear to my eye. Mm -hmm. uh, that is a good scene. Uh, I guess I had a little affinity for the, the tractor trailer hijack scene because it reminded me a lot of the, the climax to License to Kill, which is my favorite James Bond movie. I thought you were going to say Snakes on a Train. That's a good one, too. Uh, or uh, Jack the Giant, Killer Slayer. It's too painful. I can't bring it up. Anywho, I enjoy this uh, very much. I'm looking forward to our next installment. I understand it's called Too Fast and Too Furious, followed very closely by Three Fast and Three Furious. That's right. I guess I understand, yes, that the, this first film was directed by Rob Cohen, who did Triple X mm -hmm. uh, and a couple other films, uh, action films. Uh, the second one is directed by John Singleton of, uh, was it... Uh, Boys in the Hood, I believe, is his, oh, okay. is his famous film. So it should be a completely different kind of tone, I would imagine. Well, I, I like the way it was. The first, this one was laid out. Mm -hmm. I mean, big blockbuster. But it was a huge blockbuster. So. It doesn't take a lot of gray cells to enjoy this film. Uh, just enjoy it. It's, it's a summer blockbuster. A uh, little shout out if I might just steamroll right over you, James, <clears throat> like I always yeah, do. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, don't, I noticed a couple of times, especially in the, uh, the racing where they're doing the nitrous. Mm -hmm that they do that CSI kind of thing where they go inside yeah, and show how it is. and all that. Because this film came out in 01, and CSI started out in 2000, and all that stuff was hot at the time. Oh, wow. So to go in and see the mechanism and all that, so, ah, shows its age, but it's, it's shown well. I'm yeah, sorry, James, you may, you may speak. All the way to the exhaust. That's right. Uh, now I forgot what I was going to say. Thank you. Mission accomplished. Oh, hmm? it is what a, a summer hit's supposed to be. Just fun. Yes. You go watch it. You had a good time. Mm -hmm. You're not thinking too much after it. You just enjoy no, it. No, it is, it is a perfect summer popcorny flick. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I'm uh, happy to give this one. I'm going to give this one three and a half slots. Man, that's good. Three and a half slots because I, I, I enjoy a good blockbuster summer movie hit. I'll also give it three and a half just because... Now, I guess we should let people know this ain't the same rating as our other movies in a way because we're in the prime time now. Yeah. So, the ones we've got three and a half by... Oh, that's a different standard. Correct. This is... Uh, Just to let everybody know that. Yeah, this is a reminder. We, we judge a film based on does it do what it aims to do mm -hmm. and did we enjoy the effort. Okay? So, this is not an asylum film. This is a big Hollywood blockbuster. It, it aimed to entertain me mm -hmm. and have a good time. Right. And it pulled it off well. Correct. Three, three and, and a half. Three and a half. Three and a half all the way. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Across the board. Well done, Ben Diesel and Paul you, Walker. You owe me a three and a half sloth car. Oh man, I got a racing Honda Odyssey out front. I'm gonna trick it out. Well, we'll race for pink slips. Let's do that. I don't have one, but uh, I don't. I don't either. But uh, I hope you enjoyed that review. It's uh, we're gonna work our way through the Fast and Furious films here as we move along, and uh, we're, we'll do two Fast, two Furious here sometime in the near future. So keep an eye out for that. If you can, because we may be too fast and too furious for you. Until next time, keep it both fast and furious. Throw a little lazy in there, too. You can attack me or am I going to attack you? Bye. See ya. This is James, signing out. Bye. Are you... <laughs> <laughs>